So welcome all of you guys once again with respect to the Future Omics by Informatics Made Easy YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about how we can convert the drug SDF file to PDBQT format to perform the molecular docking using Autodoc Vena as a software, right? So today I'm going to take one recent example where the this is called as a Zika virus. Okay, so we are going to see that for the Zika virus disease, what kind of drugs we can retrieve from the PubChem database. And then after that, we are going to see that how we can download that particular drug in the form of SDF file format. And from the SDF file format, how we can convert to the PDBQT using Open Bible as a software. Okay, so once you have that particular PDBQT file format of the drugs, then you can proceed to perform Autodoc Vena molecular docking. And how to do that particular docking study using Autodoc Vena? Uh, for that, I think uh, I have shared one tutorial in my YouTube channel. So I will just share that particular link in the description. So kindly follow to just proceed to perform molecular docking for the drug discovery, right? So. Uh, a quick overview about what is Zika virus. I hope you all of you know about this. But as a quick introduction, that a disease caused by the Zika virus that has been spread through the mosquito bite. Got it. So in the most of the cases, there is no symptoms. But in the few cases of Zika, they can trigger to the paralysis. Okay, and even in the uh, pregnant woman, it can cause a uh, subsequent birth defects. So it is really important to come up with respect to identifying a potential drug targets against the Zika virus. Okay, so when the present symptoms were were the mild, okay, and the late less than the weeks. So, so we have to get to know and understand what is exactly the mechanism of this particular target. And for that, uh, it's a good choice to move for any kind of project with this kind of uh, disease or the particular virus such as Zika virus, right? Uh, so now I'm going to show you that how you can just search the relevant data using the PubChem as a resource. So as you all can see that this is a PubChem database. So again, what is PubChem database? I think, uh, again, I have shared one tutorials for the same. So you all of you can please proceed to get to know more detailed information. So you can just search for COVID also, you will find a huge number of drug lists. But here, as a quick tutorial, I'm just sharing you how you can convert the drug into the PDBQT file format and then proceed for molecular docking for drug discovery as an application. So I will just write like a Zika, okay? And you all of you can see that if I just even type like a Zika, so it's providing me for a while three compounds. Okay, so these three compounds are there. So what you have to do guys is that whenever you get a compound list, you can filter out. Okay, if, if you're getting huge list, you can filter out with respect to the, uh, yeah, here the filters are there. So here you will, you can see all of you that there are different filters are there based on the Lipin scale property and more. So if you, whenever you get some huge list of molecules, Okay, uh, so you can filter out based on the different drug properties and get your filtered out drugs from here. Got it. That is a very good step you can apply. Or else if you're getting very specific data of the drugs, like only 10, 20, 15, 100, then again, you can use this uh, process to download the data of drugs. So you all of you can see that here, the download option is there. So just click on the download. And if you want to download in the CSV, you can do that. But for Autodoc Vena performing molecular docking, it's good to go with this, click download, and then just go with the 3D, okay? And uh, then you can proceed with the SDF. Okay, so all the three drugs will be available in the SDF. You can even go with 2D, right? And then if I just click on 3D, so you all of you can see that I got the drug in I mean the list of SDF files in my downloads folder. Okay, so as you all can see guys that now the data is available. I will just share the screen so that we can just discuss the data set. Got it? So here all of you can see that the data is available which contained uh, pub compounds, okay, pub came compounds of the Zika records in the SDF file format. Now the thing is that you have to launch the next step. What you have to do, you have to launch the Open Bible. Okay, you have to download the Open Bible again for Open Bible. The tutorial is available. Got it? 
So you have to just search in your particular computer regarding open Bible once the successful download and installation is done. Okay. And I'm going to show you that how you can just proceed for the uploading this SDF file to convert into the PDB QT file format. Okay. All you, uh, you all of you can see now that uh, on my screen, the open Bible application is launched, right? So from the drop down, you have to select the file format you have downloaded that is SDF. Okay. And then where exactly? So just now you can see that all of you just click on that and just open. So this is my SDF file format. Now I want to convert this SDF to the PDB QT. So from the drop down, you can just select the PDB QT. And once you get selected, you all of you can see guys that here uh, you will get certain filters, right? So for a, a quick filter, what you have to apply is nothing but you have to scroll down and just see that remove the duplicates by the descriptors. For example, if you are getting a huge truck list, okay, and then you want to perform the data pre-processing where you want to get to know that if any drugs are getting repeated, Okay, so that quick filter you can perform in this open Bible. It's nothing but remove the duplicates of the descriptors. And then for the output, give the specific path. I'm going to, uh, going to give directly in the downloads and just like, like a Zika. And then the drugs will be in the form of PDB QT. Okay, like for example, Zika drugs. Got it. And if I just save this, and afterwards, once the folder is provided where the converted drugs will be get saved, then simply you have to click on the button that is called as a convert. If you just convert this, you all of you can see that the three molecules has converted. Okay. Now we are going to see how exactly these files have been converted by going in our download folder. Okay. All of you can see now that we have the PDB QT file format. Okay, so all the three drugs has been converted into the single PDB QT file format. So this is a one way of approach. Okay, so one approach you can do is that you can convert the um, over here. Yeah, so one approach is to convert the SDF file, this SDF file is nothing but the drug, right? As we all know, right? The drugs into single PDPQT file, okay? So that is the first approach. You can do this. There is one more approach. Okay, the second approach is regarding second approach or second way you can say that. First step or is first way you can just convert the uh, all, all drugs. Okay. All drugs. with respect to the single file format of the PDP QT. There is one more thing you can do is that the second approach what we have discussed. Okay. The second way is, is to convert the, again, all drugs. Okay. that is SDF file into multiple PDP QT file format. Okay, getting all of you. So two things we can do, we can convert the particular single, all the drugs into the single file format, which we can see over here. Okay, that is what we can see. This is a single file format. The drug is available, right? And that is what we have done, okay? So the first step we are going to see that, uh, do that all the drugs has converted 
in the correct way or not. So for that, you have to just uh, launch one more thing on your system that is called as a PyMol. So PyMol is the molecular weaver, as we all know that. Once the PyMol is launched on your system, then you have to just proceed to search the, sorry. Yeah, once the PyMol is launched on your system, then you have to open the particular uh, PDBQT drugs on your system. Okay, and now I'm going to show you that how you can do that. Uh, open your file, uh, means launch the PD, uh, PyMol on your system. Once you have launched, you all of you can see that I have opened the PDBQT for file of the drugs. So how many drugs I have now, all of you can see that. It's a three, right? So this three drugs I can see on my screen. It's loaded properly. Got it. So this is a one way approach where you can convert your SDF file to the PDBQT. Yeah, that is the first way or first approach we saw. Now I'm going to show you that using again Open Bible, how you can convert one single uh, drug files into the multiple PDBQT file formats. Okay, so as you all can see that this is what we have done. So the next step, what you have to do is that you have to just click over here. Can you see that all of you? It's nothing but split each file names from the data what we are providing. Okay, so with respect to the title. So if you just run this and then click on convert. So totally we have a three molecules which is converted. To just to check it out that all three molecules is converted properly or not, go in the downloads where the path is provided. And fab, you all of you can see now the three drugs are there. Okay. So again, these three drugs you can just load separately in the PyMol to just check the all the three drugs has loaded properly or not, right? So I will just launch one more PyMol on my system, okay? So this is a file, I will just launch a new window with default, right? And then I will just open the drugs one by one. So in my downloads, I have this drugs, three drugs which I have converted right now. Okay, so there's a single PDBQT file format. And then we saw that a multiple. Okay, I will just open one more. The next one, this is the second PDBQT, all of you can see here, right? And then open, so it is. And then the third drug, open with PDBQT file format. So fab, all the three drugs has opened. So if you just click, and show the one by one, you can showcase that thing. Clear guys? Okay, so I hope that this tutorial will be helpful for all the researchers over there who are working with respect to the drug discovery approach using bioinformatics as an approach. Okay, basically to perform the uh, molecular docking using Autodoc Vena and this is a standard file format which we need to process our molecular docking uh, to come up an identification of the potential drug targets for the disease of your interest. Okay, so thank you guys. Uh, if you like the particular video, okay, please like, share, and subscribe, and um, wait for some more uh, tutorials to come up, up. Okay, so that is what uh, the overview is regarding. I hope that this tutorial will be helpful for the, all the researchers who are working in the field of drug discovery using bioinformatics approach or is the computational approaches. Thank you.